Hi guys, how's it going? Um, this is a quick overview of the Saga Deluxe Edition that was released um, about the end of last year, I think, the end of 2014. Um, it's hardcover, um, published by Image. It's about 500 pages, uh, give or take, and collects the first, I think it's 18 issues of the ongoing series. Um, so if you're reading in trades, it's the first uh, three, first three trades. Um, it's not really a review as such. Anyone that watches my videos on a regular basis knows this is my favourite series. Um, and I'm not really sure I'm qualified to critique uh, any of this stuff. Uh, you either like it or you don't. For anyone watching this that is a saga reader and doesn't own this book and likes graphic novels, then it's a pretty easy recommendation. Um, it's a really nice book. It's pretty thick at 500 pages. I think it's a little little thicker than the typical um, image hardcovers that they tend to release for things like The Walking Dead and um, there's Lazarus uh, revival hardcovers. This one's a little bigger, I think they wanted to kind of, as it's such a popular series, they wanted to do something a little chunkier. Um, a quick look at the binding. I think it's a stone binding. Could be a mixture of sewn and glue, but um, it's pretty nice, whatever it is, you get a good kind of eye hole here, so um, in terms of, oh, what a nice page to have landed on as well. In terms of um, gutter loss, you don't really get any, and in any event, the way the image does it, they put a good kind of amount of white space in the middle anyway, so even if you were in danger of any gutter loss, you're not actually going to miss any content, which I think is quite a good idea. I don't know why more um, publishers don't do this. Um, so, Saga. Um, if you've never read it, I would choose to describe it as, I think on Wikipedia it's kind of described as Star Wars meets Game of Thrones. Um, not sure about that. I would tend to describe it as Romeo and Juliet in space on a kind of galactic level. Um, so you have, essentially it's a love story or a story of family, I suppose nice people um, and they come from two warring uh, planets I guess um, so needless to say they're kind of being hunted by all sides and they have a baby and that's where the story starts um, it is a mature book I suppose or a mature series so language content um, all of that good stuff um, so probably not for younger readers, but who am I to judge? Um, written by Brian K. Vaughan. And drawn, I think in its entirety, drawn and coloured by Fiona Staples. Uh, lettering and some presentation stuff by Phonographics. Um, it's a beautiful looking book. Um, although I believe it's all digital. Um, it does have quite a, or Fiona Staples has quite a sort of, I think a sort of hand drawn quality to the art that she does. I think the colouring works very well with it as well. So many people read Saga that I don't want to kind of try and delve too much into the story. It is incredibly popular. Um, but obviously spoilers if you're not super familiar. There's a pretty decent and large cast of characters. Um, including Lion Cat. It's probably one of my favourites. Um, like I said, I think this covers the first 18 issues, so it's a little larger than typical image hardcovers. Um, but that gives you a good kind of three arcs of the story. Um, don't know how long it's going to run for. No idea. But they can do a lot with it, so periodically or between arcs it sort of takes a slight time jump. So we catch up with our characters at some point in the future. Um, so my guess is it's not going to you know, run forever, but I would imagine they kind of have a complete arc planned out, planned out. I think this book currently on Amazon UK is about £25. Well worth it. I think the retail price is a bit more than that, about 40 
so it's pretty good value really um, compared to other books of this type and size and quality uh, decent quality paper it's nice and well, it's pretty thick it's not you know transparent there's a decent decent thickness to it shiny and the art looks really good on this size actually like I said spoiled very colourful even though it's sometimes quite dark in terms of the story content it's always very colourfully presented in terms of extras there are some not loads um, I believe we have some covers um, you know and some sketch some sketch work uh, we have a script and some more kind of panel composition stuff so if you're into extras it's pretty interesting if you're interested in how these things are put together it's pretty interesting not a massive amount but I think you know for a, for a book of this kind of size and cost it's pretty decent so yeah that's basically it like I said I don't want to go into exhaustive detail because most of you are going to be pretty familiar with Saga just wanted to give you a quick overview of this deluxe hardcover I imagine they'll be releasing more of these um, as the story continues um, definitely if you're into Saga and you, and you like a, a decent chunky book well worth picking up um, like I said you should be able to find it I don't know what it would be in dollars but it's not particularly expensive for its size um, if you've got any questions about it questions about Saga if you're not super familiar with it stick them in the comments and I'll do my level best to answer it um, otherwise this will about do it alright cheers guys